Today on Sledhead 24-7, the first sign of winter as the sledding season starts at Heydays. It's an end of summer snowmobile celebration with world-class grass drags, legendary swap meet, the latest news from the manufacturers, and a walk down vintage sled road. We're counting down the days till the green flag flies on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross season. We'll flash back to last season's highlights and fast forward to the great racing straight ahead. Looking for a new ride or curious about the latest in sled technology? Check out our report from Snowshoot as our test riders put this year's models through a no holds barred test session. Today, we'll evaluate the touring sleds. And our own Paul Mack takes a few whacks to work out some of his issues. And they are many. So stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 starts now. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to your favorite snowmobile show, Sled Ed 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, and we could not be more excited for another season of snowmobiling. All season long, we're going to showcase great destinations, the latest and greatest in gears and gadgets, and of course, updates from the ISOC Racing Series. Simply put, if it happens in the world of snowmobiling, we will have it on this show. So right now, we're going to kick off the season with the unofficial start of winter, with the official start of snowmobiling. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Haiti. It's how snowmobilers start the season, and they don't even need snow. Welcome to Haiti. One part celebration, two parts happening, and always completely amazing. The Snow Barons, the Minnesota based snowmobile club, can take credit for the fun and games. While the 44th edition of Heydays is rooted in racing, there's more to the experience than grass drags. All the new sleds, all the new stuff, and uh, it's great for us because we get to see all our, all our winter family. It's the start of the snowmobile season. Whether you're looking for a part to a 1977 Polaris or you're getting an autograph from a racer, Heydays is the place to be. Everybody's sick of the summer, everybody's sick of the heat. They come out. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a very social event. The snowmobilers, in the end, are social people. It is huge, and I don't think I've ever seen so many hillbillies. Uh... <laughs> Plenty of folks have a stake in heydays. And this year, a new chapter was opened. A larger location near North Branch, Minnesota, located about 45 minutes northeast of Minneapolis. Heydays continues to grow and is more popular than ever. More than 30,000 sledheads made the scene and the legendary lines to get in haven't changed. But savvy fans know how to roll with it. Heck, why not start the grilling early? Gotta kill the time somehow. There are no limits at heydays. The motorsports freestyle show defied the laws of gravity and sanity. Many heydays favorites are still grounded. Ah yes, the swap meet. If you can't find it here, most likely you can't find it. It's billed as the world's largest in the industry. And who would dare challenge that title? New products to check out from all over. It's just part of the heydays party. We're inviting people to come over here, learn a little bit about how we can make their product work better um, for their certain application, whether it be trail or big mountain riding. The folks at ISOC showcase their upcoming snowcross series. It looks picture perfect. And for a few seconds, fans were able to suspend reality. It's just a cool deal. You know, we're a bunch of turnip farmers from Minnesota, Wisconsin, Canada. Hey days is when the major sled manufacturers show off their latest and greatest models. Time to roll out the new iron. And what a collection. Plenty to look forward to when the snow finally does arrive. You know, snowmobilers are just crazy. When they're not riding, they're talking about riding. What Heydays is, is it's that excuse to finally get out of the chat rooms and stop talking in your backyard or in your garage and get to an event and start thinking about winter. Everybody kind of switched gears from the summer thoughts to, okay, what am I going to do this winter? What am I going to do this fall? So, I mean, Heydays is time perfect, number one. Number two, it's the biggest event in snow building. Yamaha continues to steer the industry in new ways with power steering and beyond. 
At Articat, it's easy being green with a major milestone and the production of sled number one million. For many, perhaps the favorite part of the heydays experience is right here in the dirt. It's the spectacle known as the grass drags, the fastest 500 feet on grass. Actually, the first 50 feet is made of blue clay that the snow barons have pounded into one of the most advanced tracks in the world. It's just the adrenaline rush. Uh, you can't beat it. Once you, once you pull the trigger once or twice, <laughs> nothing else is the same. It's a nice hobby to have, an expensive hobby, but it's fun to do. You get to go fast. The drag strip has a slight rise built in after the finish line to help slow the sleds down. Good thing, too. Many of the sleds average over 100 miles an hour. Top speed of the weekend? Would you believe a whopping 142 miles an hour? Now that's Heydays. It is such a party every year, and we're going to have more from Heydays coming up in a little bit, including a report from the Mac Man Paul Mac as he takes part in a Heydays Classic, the annual swap meet. Don't go anywhere. We have more sledded action coming your way. Thanks, MJ. When Sledded 24-7 returns, hang on as we preview and review the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. Our expert riders put the latest touring sled to the test at Snowshoot. Talk about your creature comforts, heated seats, and beyond. They'll put time in the saddle to discover the best sled for your riding style. And the setting? The big country of West Yellowstone. And later, we're going back to heydays as Paul Mack and his running mate Jeff Fisher stroll down memory lane. Amid the vintage sleds, they discover just how old they really are. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, by Articat, share our passion, and by Polaris, terrain domination.